Hi friends, I am Kumut and you are watching Kumutni Home Garden. Starting the video with this beautiful plant, bushy plant uh, called uh, Hamelia because it attracts lots of hummingbirds. So friends, I did some shopping uh, recently. A uh, few of the plants are here and few I'll be showing in the end. Uh, this is a peace lily variegated plant and this looks beautiful even without the uh, lilies in this. And this one is a Ruyo plant. Ruyo comes in many colors. This one is just awesome. I loved it. It has got so many colors inside that. And uh, this is uh, another variety of begonia called Rex begonia. Vex begonia comes in winters and Rex comes in summers. So this is a summer variety and leaves are just beautiful. They are like wings. So this is another one and uh, this is uh, Sansevieria. This color I didn't have so I bought and these are pink uh, uh, rocket leaves or uh, syngoniums and this is another beautiful color in syngonium. This is another variety and this is the white variety and some pink varieties. So uh, now I have got good collection of syngoniums with me. So friends this is uh, the little shopping I did. Uh, now let's talk about the garden activities. Garden activities is not something which one does uh, just uh, you know someday. It is often done in the garden. Every day one has to work in the garden friends to check on the plants which plant needs what kind of attention. So not all uh, plants needs all uh, kinds of attentions means they don't need same kind of attention. They all need different different kinds of attention. So you have to keep an eye on all the plants. So uh, in the evening or in the morning one can take a trip to the garden, uh, have a look at all the plants and do the needful. So friends, uh, I also did some activity in my kitchen garden this time which is on the roof. So I bought some uh, uh, these uh, ladyfinger seeds and uh, I am going to show you how I uh, planted these seeds. So this is the packet, this is the company and uh, at the back side there is no mention of any packaging date or anything, only the rates are written. So um, somebody has bought it for me and uh, I am going to plant these. A perfect garden friends is a mix of different kinds of plants you know uh, growing together in, in, a, in one place. So uh, this is uh, the bed I made on my roof I have shown you earlier also and uh, this is a DIY bed and I have kept it lighter and I have put the soil sorry for the mess because last night it was a storm a dust storm and uh, since it is very light it uh, fell down towards one side. This one I can repair later on. Right now the requirement is to sow the seeds of ladyfinger and, or we call it bhindi in India. So friends it's very easy actually we have to plant the seeds directly in the soil and uh, since uh, the plant you know it uh, spreads uh, its leaves and stems quite a lot so we have to keep, keep some distance. Uh, distance has to be at least 6 to 8 inches so this distance I have uh, maintained and uh, I am uh, making the holes. First you have to make holes like this and uh, the hole has to be about um, 1 inch to 2 inch and uh, the soil has to be well draining friends. So this is the packet, I will take out the seeds and plant them. Seeds are very thick they are chemically coated so that uh, the ants or uh, some other uh, in uh, some other worms inside the soil don't eat them up so uh, just one one seed will suffice and um, i have made about i think uh, this side also i have made some holes so this comes to about 20 to 25 holes in this bed so uh, this much uh, plants, this many plants are enough for my family and uh, I have sown the seeds then you have to cover them up nicely and uh, you have to water the uh, vegetable bed. 
but uh, if the soil is very moist like in my case it is very moist so i am not going to put water today tomorrow i'll put the water so friends i as i promised you in the uh, earlier um, uh, stage that i'll be showing you uh, more of my shopping this is snow bush plant and i loved it because of its color and um, this uh, comes as a hedge plant you know or it's just uh, you can keep it in a container and make a beautiful uh, small tree uh, kind of a plant in some corner of your garden it looks just beautiful and this one is powder puff as you can read here this is also known as calyandra and uh, its flowers are beautiful and they just look like um, a beautiful powder puff kind of a thing only and red color is my favorite so it brings uh, beautiful vibrant color in your garden so friends uh, i'm trying this for the first time if it goes successfully i'm sure it will then i'll buy the buy another colors also so friends uh, see you in the next video then